Detroit. Detroit selects goaltender Trey Augustine. He looks good in the net. He moves well. Uh, his, his positioning is good. He's a competitive kid, and obviously we pick him in the second round. We think very highly of him. Detroit's always had a long-standing tradition of some great hockey and youth hockey, um, and to have players like Trey come up through, I, it just means a little bit more. It's a little bit special, and I think it gives a little extra motivation. We were very excited to have the opportunity to select uh, Trey Augustine. Being a local kid, you know, and, and going to Michigan State, you know, is obviously something uh, you know pretty special for Trey and his family. When you look at going back to his 18 year, you know, and all the pressure of, and the noise with the draft and, and the expectations there, and then to go and win a world under 18 gold medal, and then you have development camp, and you have world junior camp, you know, to earn a spot on the team and win a gold medal the world junior. I mean, that's an unbelievable sequence for him. And, but I think those are all valuable experiences for him that are gonna help him along the way. And so they've done some pretty special things and obviously just kind of have some time now to kind of reflect on it and realize just how fortunate I was that I've been given the opportunities that I've had and obviously just kind of looking back on a whole and the people you meet and certainly the people that have helped me get to this point, I mean, it's just incredible. I mean, he's the youngest goalie in college hockey. He's the only true freshman starter in college hockey. All the other freshmen, you know, have played a year junior. And I think he's done it at every level, right? If you go back to when, when we got a chance to, to, to work with him with the national team, he, he, we called him up. He was our starter for the World 18s. He was an underager for the World Junior team. So the moment never eats him up, and he, he's definitely a mature guy. For him to be doing what he's doing right now is extremely impressive and it took him a little bit of time to adjust to college hockey which is totally normal and I think it's been sped up his development because of his attention to detail in practice. We talk about being pros, obviously our kids aren't pros, but we want to have that same mentality and he definitely has that. I think it does take some like time to settle in for me. Obviously, like the days kind of get stretched into each other, but just even like going from like my first World Juniors to my second, like I can just like tell how like different I felt in those big games and stuff. And obviously, just kind of knowing from like the past experiences, like what I had to do to kind of elevate my game and my play. I mean, he really embodies what it means to be a Red Wing. You know, he's he is low maintenance. He is humble. He is hardworking. He is about the team and. I mean, you, you look at the, that franchise, I, you know, I think it's the greatest one in, in all of pro sports. And the common thread with all those great players that were there is, 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 is the same thread that, that, that Trey has. And, you know, he's, he's growing his game here now and he's, he's improving. And, you know, it won't be long, he'll be a, he'll be a great Red Wing. Obviously, I'm super fortunate to get drafted by the Red Wings. And I remember going to the games at the Joe with my dad all the time. Still have a long way to go, but just like kind of what I've mentioned here before, but just taking it one day at a time continuing to get 1% better every day and then hopefully play my whole hockey career in the state of Michigan.